Getting kids to open up on TV is not easy, especially when you're talking about some painful things. But tonight is different. Cynthia Seguire recently met a group of siblings who taught her a few things about being brave enough to be honest about your pain. Here's tonight's Wednesday's Child. I've always wanted parents who care for us, you know. Life has dealt Savannah and her siblings a tough hand, but they keep their heads above water. I want parents, you know, who, who's going to love us and who's going to take care of us. Because, I mean, Wilson was practically my mom. Wilson is only 15, but took on the responsibility of Savannah, LaVon, and Izzy at a very young age. Uh, my siblings um, are my world. Um, I practically raised them. Wilson refuses to let their history of abuse and neglect hold them back. Instead, he's a high achiever who writes songs to cope with his pain. This one is about his mom. I look back and realize I was stupid to think things would change. It's been almost four years and it's still the same. For four years, I said I'm the blame. For four years, you've been the source of my pain. Four years in the system is brutal. Yet Wilson says he, eight-year-old LaVon and seven-year-old Izzy, are lucky to have the foster parents they do. They're a blessing from God. Perhaps that's why LaVon always carries a smile and a passion for sports. Soccer because I like kicking and football because I like tackling and throwing and basketball because I like jumping and throwing too. But LaVon Wilson and seven-year-old Izzy miss 13-year-old Savannah. She's currently separated from them. It's, um, it's very painful. <laughs> Savannah says she trusts God to bring them back together. I look up to him, I pray to him. By leaning on him, Savannah and her siblings wait in peace for a forever family to adopt them together. I want to be adopted with all my sisters and my brothers because I love them so much. In Grand Prairie, Cynthia Seguire, Channel 8 News.